Wow. Just wow, Virgo. You guys had to join me. <laughs> I was like, okay, the first row, Virgo, is doing a whole, it's got a whole vibe of its own, baby. Oh, but, you know, <laughs> these readings can change in just a second. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. So, that's, who is it that's thinking about you? Who is it that wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Mm -mm -mm. Who truly loves Virgo? Okay, so, hmm, interesting. Dun, 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 dun. Told you it could change. Okay, so, magician on the bottom of the deck and the queen of pentacles. Oh, and the four of wands, baby. Oh, so, before we even get into this reading, this looks extremely powerful. You can see the moon card there and the judgment card. Fear, I don't know, fear around love or... you got a lot going for yourself there, Virgo. Let's just put that out there before we even start this reading. You've got so much going for yourself. Do you even know how fabulous you are, darling? So, who is it that's thinking about you? The Empress card, it can signify, for some of you guys, a Taurus. Um, a Libra. We've also got Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. Now, it's extremely fair to say, Virgo, that you are glowing up. There's this radiance about you, whoever is thinking about you. There's this radiance, there's this aura around you, Virgo. And it's infectious. Somebody f finds the way you look, the way you smell, the way you talk, your whole demeanor so very attractive. Mm -hmm. We've also got the Ten of Cups and it's amplified with the Nine of Cups. This is somebody that you make extremely happy or they want to be happy with you. They find happiness when around you. You give them a lease of life. There's a lot of contentment here. There's a lot of communication, love, good, good communication. Nine of Cups is a wish come true, like you're somebody's wish come true. You're everything that I'd wanted. You're everything that I'd hoped for. There's a song there. And you know what? Whoever tells me, ah, oh, just don't ring it. Don't sing. Read the cards. S-T-F-U. Period. <laughs> but, um, you're everything that I wish for. <laughs> now I forgot the song. You're everything that I need. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything that I need. You are so beautiful to me. So, we're going to clarify, I suppose, some of these cards. Two of Wands, whoever is that wants you. Whoever is that wants you. Two of Wands, the Strength card, Queen of Wands. So, there's a lot of passion here, Virgo. But there's also a choice that needs to be made. You see, what I like about the Two of Wands is there's a journey here. It's not backwards. This is what I like about this reading already. It's not backwards. It's forward motion. Now, the two of ones, when you're in that time in your life and you don't know what to do, what's the best the best uh, journey to take or the best choice to make, it can be a very powerful thing. Patience. Patience is a key word here. Whether you've been patient or patience is needed. You've got a lot of compassion. You've got a lot of gifts about you, Virgo, whether you know it or not. The Queen of Wands is like standing in your power. Not only do you want to win, you want to see others win. And not a lot of people are like that, Virgo. 
fifth Virgo card coming out. Not a lot of people are like that, Virgo. You got a whole lot of love to give. So whoever is that wants you, I think they find you to be very alluring, very powerful. Patience is needed, maybe for you, for them. Mm -hmm. Whoever is that truly loves you. Now we have the Ace of Cups here, so that feels overwhelming. The Devil card, Capricorn Energy, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. So somebody wants peace here, someone wants balance, someone's trying to find the middle ground, someone's trying to juggle a lot of things in their life. This could be your energy. This could be your person's energy and, and how they look towards you. Ten of Wands shows me struggles. Whoever it is that truly loves you. They could be struggling with something here. They could be having some things that are affecting them right now. Life is a struggle at times. But once you get to the top of the hill, you did it, baby. You just got to keep moving. I feel like somebody is either addicted to you or they have some sort of addictions with the devil card there. There is a, almost a toxic energy okay just a little side note here with these cards coming out okay so i'm picking up on having to walk away from something and stepping into your truth and taking charge of your life because you were patient i get this forgiveness here this understanding i love when virgos are in this vibe like no matter if you're single or taken happiness is your true desire like contentment is your true desire a happy home life your family's doing good you're doing good you know <clears throat> trying to take opportunities that you're given you know we have new career here new career paths we also have potential like i feel like some of you guys have been bored and you need something in your life or you, it's like something's missing. And maybe recently there was a closure situation. You didn't get the closure that you necessarily needed. But that chapter's done. And you move on. You know. And you keep and you keep pushing forward. Cancer energy here. Thriving to succeed. To be the best that you can be. Pushing yourself. No matter what it is. Even if it's just getting out of bed in the mornings. You know, and I'm talking to you, Virgo. Someone once told me, and it stuck with me, the hardest thing in your day is getting out of bed. Once you've done that, that's the hardest part. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. The world card. The ace of cups. New beginnings, new horizons. Renewal, opening up your heart again, opening up your heart chakra, clearing that. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys are really, really letting go of heavy energy. And it hasn't been easy. And you've had to remain positive or tried to. Good for you, Virgo. Let's see if we can clarify this Nine of Cups. Wow. The Empress card. You, I mean, you can't make it up. The Empress is here. The Empress maybe some of you are pregnant mothers someone sees you as the potential of being a mother queen of wands here a lot of female energy here a lot of divine feminine energy shouts out to all my queens and kings of course somebody's mad i don't even want to go on those low vibrations i feel like somebody's mad why is the nine of cups here Eight of Pentacles. Someone's willing to put in the work. Someone sees you as a hard worker. Someone sees you as a hard worker. Someone got blocked. Mm -hmm. Someone is in denial here about how they feel about you. Why is the Nine of Cups here? You've had to make a diff difficult choices in your life. But you made them. Nine of Wands. Very protective energy. Like I feel like somebody is extremely protective of you. There's a lot of moving energy here on the bottom of the deck. Which I'm taking an interest in. 
Like, I feel there's a lot of new chapters here, Virgo. Why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? You are so beautiful to me. You've had to let go of the past or someone from the past can't let you go. Their energy could be scattered or that, you know, they saw there was excitement with you. There was fun with you. There was laughter. Something that cannot be replaced. Yeah, so there is somebody possessive over you here. Whoever truly loves you, it's, it feels like territorial it feels like you're all mine i'm not sharing you i don't know the glow up is real i'm gonna leave it there for a hopefully that resonated with you some of you guys anyway listen be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound baby you take care Mwah.